Hello Libra, this is your June 2022 love guidance. Uh, we will be tapping into what your current energy is for the month of June when it comes to love. We will look at your person's energy and also get some oracle guidance as well. So we'll start by getting three cards to see what the energy is for the month of June when it comes to your love life. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. We've got star, various energy. We've got temperance, Sagittarius energy. One more card. And the Hangman Pisces energy. Wow, that's three major arcanas right there um, with the Queen of Swords in reverse. So it looks positive, but I mean, again, that's why I clarify the cards because not necessarily, I mean, look at that. Um, let's see. Let's see what this energy is. Um, we'll start with the star and we'll determine from there. I mean, definitely, Libra, it seems like you do want to have some kind of opportunity. It's not available to you, though. For now, it's just a wish. It's something you want. It is not available to you just yet. Um, clarify one. Clarify one. Yeah, it's not available to you yet because there's something that you still need to work on to be to make this available to you there's something that you need to be i feel it has something to do in the realm of i don't know what this is i really I'm, i would try to clarify it i just can see that there's something that you need to do first to have an opportunity at this uh wish that you have um you're needing to realize what this is in order for you to have a chance at it I don't know. Let's see what the temperance is about. Temperance card. For some reason, I'm getting Sagittarius, maybe your sun or moon sign. For you or your person. I don't know why. Okay. I just say it when it comes to mind. If it doesn't apply, then let it go. Wow, really trying to achieve um, something here in a peaceful way, in a calm way. Trying to decide what to do, but I see you being calm about it. I see you trying to be peaceful about it. Not letting yourself get rattled, trying to trust yourself more. But there's something that you're needing to decide on or maybe there's something that you're needing to realize or see and that is actually what's hindering you're not seeing what you're supposed to see and that's why this isn't available to you yet let's see what the hangman in reverse is about we've got the king of cups we've got gemini energy uh, we've got emperor energy it's not available to you yet whatever it is that you want i'm seeing that you have love you have a lot of love for sure this connection though it's not moving because you're not moving the feelings are there but there's no movement because there's no action being taken towards it right it's it it should be frustrating but it's not for some reason the energy is just that of calm 
and peace. So you may feel like there's no need to rush or to be pressured or there's no urgency is what I'm getting. You feel the way that you feel and nothing can change that. But that doesn't mean that your actions... There's something here about how you feel what you feel, but your actions are not, you know, it's not... I, I don't want to say that it's not um, at par or like it's not matching your feelings because I feel like purposely you're not taking action. There's something here about how... You know, you know that, you know what you know, you know what you feel, but there's something you're not realizing, which is so weird. And that's why this reading is kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, the energy is different here. Um, let's see what your person's energy is at this time. Whoever this person you are seeing as maybe a wish fulfillment. Definitely you're in separation from this person. I feel there's not even any kind of communication here. Let's see. Your person could possibly be hiding how they truly feel, right? They're not showing what's going on with them. And maybe that allows you to be in the energy of just being calm because you're not seeing any kind of reaction or emotion. Um... So it is saying here that you guys could possibly be marrying each other. So the calmness that you feel could also be felt. Maybe that is how your person is feeling as well. Maybe they're doing some self-reflection, introspection, addressing any inner wounds. And they're just not showing how they feel. Okay. I'm going to be honest. This could be that they are actually going out there. Maybe they're meeting new people, dating or they could be wanting to get out there and meet up with you. So it could go either way. Um, wow. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to have to take back what I just said, because it's kind of telling me that, well, well, let's see. No, I'll stick with that. It feels right to stick with that. I guess what it's just saying is that whatever connection you had, whatever dynamic or whatever that was, that part is over in this time of separation. So if ever, this could quite possibly transform into something else, something better maybe. But there's something that you're not realizing here that's preventing you from taking the action. And I know you feel like, oh, I'm not taking action because I don't want to. The fact that you have the desire to means that you're being blocked from actually taking it because you haven't made a realization here. I don't know what that is, Libra. You're going to be the one to decide what that is. Um, let's see what the tarot card guidance is. Yeah, definitely. I feel like this is your, it could be you. You are your person, I'm going to say, holding back right now on what it is they truly want so this could be you or your person holding back um there's something here about how somebody's a little rattled um i feel like though with the realization that whoever is feeling rattled needs to be in this energy of being calm that's why they're getting out of this energy right to, to establish this and i think that's working i feel particularly for you libra that's working so right now, there's no communication, and this connection just does not have the stability that's needed because there's no communication, no action. And naturally, that's the natural course of things. If you do not put the effort in to communicate or to take action, then, not, then something cannot be stable, right? It requires work. It requires active work, okay? So, I mean, I'm seeing here that there's desire to, to come back together with someone, but not exactly expressing that or even letting that be known. I, I feel like this is you and your person both holding back on how you guys truly feel, right? There's a lot of love though, definitely. This love needs to be said. It needs to be expressed. That's that's what needs to happen here. There needs to be communication that there is love here to have clarity in this connection to then be able to establish stability, okay? Okay. Again, with the temperance card. Um, 
definitely i feel like this is you libra you are really trying to learn how to find balance again you're it's it seems like this is something that has made you unbalanced and for a sign like yourself which is all about balance <laughs> um this may have put you off your your path for a while but you found yourself again and you are learning how to find that balance and that peace again so that's a good energy good energy um i feel right now it's important to express how you both wow look at that wow um it's important to express how you both are feeling these emotions need to be expressed they need to be communicated that's not happening right now and i think that's what needs to be done here libra so Again, with that King of Cups, there may be hesitations to do it. There may even be fears. Um, but believe and trust in whatever this connection is. Because you guys are showing up as a King and Queen of Cups. You both love each other very much. It's just not being expressed. So let's see what the Oracle Guidance is for your particular reading. What can you do in the month of June to help this along, right? I like the energy of calm and peace, uh, very, very self-soothing kind of energy. Um, you've got clarity, but definitely there needs to be clarity in this situation. Um, both of you need it. Both of you need to know. And look at that. There's just so much happiness. You know, this communication, it's going to, it's going to matter. It's going to make the difference. There's so much happiness in this connection, so much potential happiness. There is something about well-being, which I'll definitely agree with. With that um, temperance card, it's like trying to find that peace, okay? And finding is all about love, welcoming love in. Look at how she holds herself like that because she has a lot of love in her heart. She holds that and she's waiting for that love to be received, for that love to be given. It's a beautiful energy. And, and I keep saying peace. Wow, beautiful energy. I'm going to have to say, despite this challenge, it's a beautiful energy to be in. Um, hopefully in July, we'll see a little bit more action. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I have for you, Libra.